Our, our final guest is a four-time Grammy Award-winning singer, actress and philanthropist. Uh, not to mention uh, probably the most famous makeover in film history as Goody Two Shoes Sandy in the smash hit film Grease. She has uh, been a long-time activist for environmental and animal rights issues and since uh, surviving breast cancer in 1992, she's been an advocate for health awareness. And according to her, it is eating well that makes her look as young as she did 30 years ago. Olivia Newton. Yeah. 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 Wow, what a day we've had today. Yes. Couriers running past, Olivia and John coming fun, in. Yeah. Now, is it true when that when that video came out? Obviously, you know the song title, slightly suggestive. So you said, slightly, yeah. let's make it a bit funny and about fitness and then yeah. it took off yeah i kind of had a panic attack after i recorded it and i <laughs> called my manager and said it's too launchy we can't put it out i said why don't we do a video and make it about exercise you know to get yeah. away from the physical thing and of course yeah. it just made it bigger yeah. so it was actually Started a lot a of fun wave of it did, yeah. Yeah. It did. Yeah, yeah i should have invested in headbands yes. you look exactly the same oh you're very nice no it's it true. Is. What? i mean how wow Thank what you. is your secret i bet it's this uh cooking good eating. Is it? it's good uh, eating well i, I eat well um i'm happy I'm in yeah. love, I'm happy. Yeah. And um, oh, I exercise. In love. That's what it is, you're in love. Yeah. That shines. Thank you. Yeah. I exercise <laughs> and eat well and yeah. I have a wonderful life. Do you know I'm lucky interesting... genetically, I guess, my mum too. Yeah. And you, you, you've said that you've, you've never actually written an autobiography before. You know, no. you've started writing it and then thought, actually, no, this isn't for me. So this actually is your first book. And, and you know, it, it is a cookery book, but if you read the beginning of it, there's quite an interesting rundown as to how you've got to this point in, in your life. You know, to do with, uh, you, you've, you've survived breast cancer and you place a lot of emphasis on the food that you ate to get yourself better. Would, would, would you say that did play a, ma a major part? I think that, you know, I'm very fortunate and I'm very grateful that I'm 20 years thriver. So no, it's 20 years thriver. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just very grateful for that. And of course, you know, there's a lot of things that went into that. Yeah. Maybe I'm really lucky I caught it early, so I suggest every woman does regular self-breast exam because I found my own lump yeah. and it didn't show in a mammogram. And so all these things are important. I ate really well. I mean, I was obsessive in the beginning, of course, because when you're first diagnosed, you want to do everything for your body. That's, and I did everything I could to be healthy. And I always was pretty healthy eater, but I just mm -hmm. became more conscious. And I think, but now I've come to the point that I think it's about common sense. It's about mm. not eating too much. It's about eating everything you like, but not yeah. eat, finishing you everything on your plate. Is that true? I went through that. I went through macrobiotic, S and, I, and I go vegetarian. I go in and out of it. If my body tells me I need some chicken, I need some fish, I need some meat, I will eat it. So I listen to my body. And you need yeah. to be in tune with your body, don't you? Yeah, I listen to my body. You need to, to be body. a good cook, Olivia, because there's quite a few recipes in there. Mm. Are they? Difficult. Well, some of them are mine, so they don't have to be great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the, the recipes are really easily spelled out because I've read it through and they're very, it's very simple, but they're really beautiful recipes. Some of them, I have a spa in Australia called Gaia Retreat and Spa that yeah. is a health retreat. It's wonderful. So I got a lot of the recipes from the, the chefs there. Oh, wow. So they're beautiful, they're tasty, but they're, you know... It's the produce, really. Yeah, organic food, a lot of organic food. I always try... I don't know how it is in the UK, but in America... Yeah, we've Australia, got, food, we have got food over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have organic. Organic. Okay. So try to get as much organic as you can and, and, and make sure that if the animals are being raised, they've had a reasonable life, they, you know, they've been nicely treated and all that. Mm -hmm. But um, I just try to eat portion control and if I, but I love cake and I love sweets and I'm, you know, just don't go all mad. that. Just don't go mad and yeah. I share with my husband, I give him half of dessert, whatever. Yeah. Or that's if you have a dog, you know. How's your little girl? Yeah, sharing is the best. Oh, she, she's not so little anymore, your daughter. Chloe, she? she's 26. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. she's 26. She's engaged. She's a big girl now. She's engaged? Oh, yeah. So you're going to yeah. be a mother-in-law? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I am. Well, you're <laughs> 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 
<laughs> of course, you've got to keep healthy as well because you're back touring again. I mean, you, how do you mm. keep your fitness levels up for that? Because that's hard Well, work. yeah, I just finished a tour of Asia and, and I did seven countries, no, nine countries, I think it was, in about 14 days or something. So it was really busy. And then Australia before that. Um, again, I rest a lot, and but I do eat, try to eat well and I go to the gym if I can't go walking. It was really hot, so I'd just go to the gym when I was there. But um, I enjoy it and it's fun. You know, I'm lucky and, I can still do it. And obviously, you, you know, you're keeping your hand in with, with the film work as well because uh, we, you've, uh, you've got a few best men is also coming out. And so you had a little bit of practice at what it's going to be like to be to a be mother. mother and, not, and I have a hello from Kevin Bishop to all of you. Oh, oh, he, oh he loves you. you. He's in the movie. Of He's course. Hysterical. And the wonderful Chris Marshall. Oh, Chris yeah. Marshall. Well, let's, yeah, let's take a little look. So We've funny. got a clip. Okay. <laughs> Mum. Daff. Meet David. David, this is my adorable mum, Barbara. Welcome to the family, David. Um, mum, he's British, he's scaring you. Oh. <laughs> um, please tell us that's not what you're like. I get worse. You get, I get worse. much worse. No, as a mother-in-law, I'm, pre I'm preparing to be a mother-in-law. I'm, I'm not going to be like this one. Yeah. No. It's a she's... very funny movie. It's crazy. You get it's to play against August. type, actually, because obviously yeah. a lot of people see you as Sandy from Greece still. Yeah. But yeah. No, you, you get to play against type in this, I've got to wipe that out. <laughs> <laughs> we love Sandy. Yeah, so I'm knows. very complimented that people still love that movie and it's still... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now they bring their grandchildren, so yeah, it's great. New audiences. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're great. really, really happy to have you on the show Thank as you. ever. You're always welcome. And the, the, the Live Wise, the uh, cookbook, it says easy recipes for a happy, healthy life. And can life I tell you something about it too? Now. Sorry to interrupt you, but the money's going to my cancer and wellness centre oh, in Australia. All, the, money, all the profits are fantastic. Fantastic. So living in the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and that is uh, all it for today but uh, you can see sherry's artistic interpretation of the queen as a birthday present for her majesty has won 63 percent of the vote and uh, a bike is winging its way to buckingham palace there we go there's the driver right now that really is outside our building off you go president pat he is going that's great.